Hello everybody, we are Fire and Ash. My name is Sapphire. And I'm Ashley. Today we're gonna to talk to you guys about peperomias. Now peperomia are one of my favorite house plants. They're quite awesome. They can tolerate low light, although they do survive in a variety of lighting conditions. Um, some here have the lighter variegation and this plant would need a little more light, so a medium to a bright light. Although a lot of the darker leaves here, you know, this one can tolerate low light. I would say the majority of our peperomia get medium to bright light and, and they've just been thriving. The watering is quite simple for peperomia. They like to dry out. So if you're going on vacation, you know, you're gonna be out of town for a couple days, this plant will do just fine. They don't require a lot of moisture. They really like to dry out in between waterings and their foliage will tell you so. If it becomes limp and droopy, it needs a drink. When they are nice and firm, nice and hard, it is doing just fine. It does not need a drink. We have several varieties here. This is what the peperomia flower looks like. The longest one I've seen is about a foot and they just eventually fall off, but I think they look really, really cool. Peperomias are on the list of non-toxic plants. So if your dog, cat, or baby happens to eat a leaf, they will not get sick. The last thing I wanted to talk about was just how to take a stem cutting from these peperomias. All you would do is go right below one of these leaf nodes and cut the stem diagonally like so. You would cut this leaf off and make sure that the node stayed submerged in water. That's gonna be the easiest way to propagate these guys. If you guys have any questions about what we discussed in today's video, don't hesitate to leave a comment and we will see you in the next one.